and 11 TV. Today I am going to give some explanation about what is SignalR. So I am following the Microsoft Docs website. You can find the same example in Microsoft in this website also when you search in SignalR. So what is SignalR? ASP.NET Signal, Signal R is the library for ASP.NET developers that simplifies the process of adding real-time web functionality to applications. Real-time web functionality is the ability to have server code push content to connected clients instantly as it becomes available rather than having server wait for clients to request new data. So it is opposite. Normally when we wanted to get the latest, we will go and refresh our website. But this is opposite. Server will push the latest data to connected clients instantly. SignalR can be used to add any sort of real-time web functionality to your web to your ASP.NET application. While chart is often used as an example. You can do a whole lot more. So we can do whole lot more but the best example is chart application. Anytime user refresh a web page to see new data or implements a polling to retrieve new data. So either you can refresh or implement a polling functionality to get the data. It is the best example for SignalR. So some more example is dashboards monitoring applications, collaborative applications such as simultaneous editing documents or job progress updates or real-time forms. These are all one of the best example using SignalR we can implement. SignalR also enables completely new types of web applications that require high frequency updates from server. For example, real-time gaming. So using SignalR we can also implement new types of applications like gaming. SignalR provides, so using SignalR it provides a simple API for creating server to client remote procedure calls that call JavaScript functions in client browsers and other client platforms from, from server side .NET code. SignalR also includes APIs for connection management for instance connecting disconnecting events and group connections. So this is some more information. So this is the architecture. So this is the .NET code. In .NET code I am, I am giving one uh, my client function. In my .NET code this is my hub and in proxy in JavaScript I am going to reg uh, register that uh, my client function in my JavaScript code. Suppose whenever server wants to send some new data to the clients, so using this registration it will identify who all are registered with this name and automatically invoke that new data to that clients so that they will get the latest data. Suppose at any time and the clients, I mean uh, HTML JavaScript clients wants to call that to .NET function so they can they can call using this way my hub dot server dot my so using this way they can able to send detail from client to server so this is these are very simple steps I'm going to explain in now uh, in example in .NET so I am just giving that high level details how it is working background. So these, these are some additional details you can go through and uh, get the more details. And let me go and uh, so I have followed this example real time chat with the signal R2 and MVC5. So I followed the step by step uh, you know, from this website. So I, do I downloaded, uh, I mean so I created a web project, MVC project from Visual Studio. I created and uh, after that I have created a class, chart class for, uh, by inheriting hub and uh, there is a one send function. 
so here I am creating a method called add new message to page <coughs> so this is the method the clients need to register so here it has the name and message and after that uh, since the, uh, after that since this is our ASP.NET standards I have created a startup class and uh, in my configuration I have configured uh, map signaler this is the must and I have created a home controller and uh, with the uh, action action name chart uh, this is my view for the chart uh, CSHTML uh, this is the code you can use as, uh, as it is this as it is this code but uh, when you get uh, the lay, when you get the jQuery you have to check are we are you using the latest jQuery or not so if not uh, if this is not uh, if you having the latest one please update this JS and one more step you need to do is um, you have to enable the script debugger uh, by default it is disabled you just need to enable that so these are the steps I have used and this is the code I have followed so before uh, means before uh, using that code make sure that you in install the singular signal R in your project so if you go so I already installed let uh, I will Tell, I will show you how, what libraries I have installed in my project single signal R libraries so following libraries I have installed so this is the uh, NuGet packages I have installed once you install it will automatically install the dependencies for us so once you in, uh, try to install this one it, it will automatically install signalr core signalr js and uh, some more so after you install this um, this libraries you will you will see that uh, related javascript gets installed here if you see these are the signalr js files it is the must so this J, uh, js sh uh, should install and you just verify after installing uh, sp.net signaler and at the same time you can also see the references here sp.net signaler core so once these are all get installed in your system and you just need to follow these steps one by one and that's it uh, so I already did that and I will go through the code first of all I have created a chat hub class as it mentioned in that website and I have it here after you install that uh, signal R you, ju uh, you just need to take that code and uh, paste it here and it should uh, it should automatically take care about that uh, references so this is the class I have installed for uh, chat hub and after that I have created a startup class and in startup class I have added that uh, mapping signal R mapping this is also must so I have created a controller action method in my controller that is hub and I created a view corresponding chat in views so this is the my chat view chhtml in that I have taken that uh, the whole code of uh, from the um, view and I added here I have updated after I adding I have updated my signal uh, latest signal rjs files and so uh, that's it I didn't change anything this just for understanding how the signal R, signal R will work for ASP.NET uh, standard application so please note this is not core this is the sp.net standard so as I mentioned I have registered that to add new message uh, hub here so this is a, my chat this is my method so my server uh, method here so this is the method I have I have 
registered in my JS. So whenever it has the latest data, the server will re, uh, will refresh, uh, will send that information to all registered clients. So it will get the data and it will. Uh, so once it get the server will uh, push the data. The data will come and so uh, it will automatically identify and send to this client by using this method. So this is one of the must. And if you wanted to send uh, send any information to client server, so this is where it is getting sending. This is the code. So, uh, so this is sending that information to server. So once the server having the means once the server notify it has the latest data, it will again send that information to all clients whoever is registered. So as I mentioned, I also put that script is en enabled. Let me go and run this one. So let's open my chart here. So if we see that first time as per this code is going to prompt my name. So I am giving my name as Vasu. So if you, you might observe here uh, in script debug uh, documents, it got downloaded these files, then it, it's, it looks good. So if you see this information. So let's type Vasu. So I am sending the my details to server. So server has responded back. So this is how. Uh, so the, here I am sending data to server. So server again responding. Since it has the latest data, it is respond. It is invoking to all clients who have registered. If I send again, so it is sending. So if I create another up chart application, the same detail. So here I am giving Babu. I am fine. Awesome. What are you doing? So Vasu, it's my name. So what are you doing? Vasu, what are you doing? I am doing, I am chatting. So I, Babu, see, since I have given my name is Babu, I am said I am chatting. So if you see that the same details will again back here. So this is uh, um, inner behind the server is responding, whoever is registered. So uh, I have not tried, let me create another application with the same. Here, sorry, the name is wrong. So, my name I will give Ramu. Hi, all. So, if you see that these are all uh, will. Um, the same information will reflect to all. This is how we can implement using SignalR. I hope you enjoyed this video, right? So you enjoy this video, and I also excited by seeing this result uh, chart application. So we can do many things using SignalR, and uh, I think it's very easy to implement in .NET. So you just need to download the all latest uh, signal are uh, libraries in your project and uh, if you follow this website as I mentioned uh, so it is easy and we can do uh, we can, uh, so the same we can uh, 
means you can uh, use in different kinds of applications. Uh, in, uh, maybe this is real time uh, data if you wanted to see in our website. So using SignalR we can um, develop that and how it is working, what is that uh, protocols it is using background and all. Those are all information you will find in uh, Microsoft Docs so whatever I showed at the beginning and you can find more details there. This website will have all the details and uh, the background how it is working and which protocol it is using and all. I hope you understand something and uh, it will help for you. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.